Hey, Jen. Hey, Kevin. I want you to meet my friend Lee Gilliam. Hi, Kevin. Lee, nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Pleasure. He's a fellow landscaper. All He's right. got a crew of guys. He's got a lot of tools. And I've been getting so many emails about tool maintenance and what to do to prepare for the spring. Okay. So he came in, and we're going to talk about them all. Let's do it. What are your weapons of choice you brought for us here? Well, we have some hand pruners. Yeah. These are great for small shrubbery. Okay. And, uh, so how small, roughly? Like what point are we using these? Like half inch, if half that. Inch yeah, as long okay. as your your hand could yeah. close it exactly. safely without getting hurt. Okay. But and if you need more power. Yep. Yeah. Then we go up to the uh, loppers, yeah. which has more torque yeah. and opens up to maybe an inch or if not more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we can go these shears, and these work great for cleaning out perennial beds. You know, small stuff that's uh, laying around, and as well as um, boxwoods and things like that. A little bit British. of shaping and cleaning up. Yeah, you could use those at your house. <laughs> Not me, my wife. <laughs> She's the boxwood queen, man. She goes after Keep those it things. Clean. Oh, it's good. She loves it. <laughs> Therapeutic. For and then if we need anything bigger, <laughs> we can go with the open end handsaw. This right. one happens to be the uh, the collapsible one. Yep. This one here, if we need a little bit bigger. Comes with its own sheath. That's awesome, go. right there. Now that is satisfying when you cut correct, a branch. It is. That's going to get correct. you cleaned up. It's going to yes. get all of your uh, your perennials, your beds cleaned up and yes. such. Well, there's a few more. Um, these are all very important. If you want, to, we're talking about the landscape beds and everything, yeah. right? Yeah. So, to begin, the edger. Yes. We want to start off with a nice edge on a bed, that, um, between the grass and the in the mulch. This does the trick. Right here. Makes a nice clean edging. Yeah, on. like three to four inches deep. If you have a nice clean edge, the mulch meets yeah. it and it prevents the grass from growing into the bed. My favorite part. <laughs> love the crisp edges. <laughs> I really do love the crisp edges. So after you crisp those edges, we have yep. the cultivator. Cultivator. Gonna fluff the beds up, make it look nice, get really? some oxygen in there. Mm -hmm. And also, we might have, not have to use so much mulch. The beds get fluffed, huh? Exactly. Well, some people think you have to put three inches on every season, and that's not true. Like, yeah. fluff up what's there, like Lee said, yeah. give some oxygen to it, and okay. then put less mulch. Gotcha. Yep. All right. And then we'll finish that off mm -hmm. after that. Thanks, Jen. Mm -hmm. Finish that off with a regular little leaf rake and rake them all out. Last little twigs of yeah. leaves. Yeah, it just keeps exactly. all the debris and stuff out. Beautiful. And then, and then, we have a spade shovel here. This is if you want to do some planting. Springtime, best time for planting, yep. right? Yes, exactly. Best time. Get them in. So if we see the point yes. and we see the little spots for your boots, you know you're digging with. Correct. And this is yeah, called a spade shovel. And this works very well. And when all that labor's over, it's time to mulch. Yes. So these two items are very handy. Yep. This is the uh, mulch pitchfork we use. Um, moves a lot of material. Easy on the back and easy, you know, get the mulch out of there. Love it. Mm -hmm. You can love. get a big load on that. Love mulch weekend. And then when yes. you get to the uh, yes. the end of the pile, you do love the smell I of mulch, do. don't you? I do. I love it. <laughs> the lawn and the beds, Lee, man. You're talking my language here. And then we have the um, oversized dustpan. <laughs> Clean up the remaining of the mulch that you have left. Gotcha. You're yep. good to go. Cool. All right. Yeah, so the so the tools we need for plant cleanup and then yeah. the tools we need for bed cleanup. Yeah. Two things we do every spring. Correct. Well, so back to the emails I've been getting, people also want to know what are the three really important like big machinery yes. tools? And yes. I would say lawn mowers, mm -hmm. string trimmers, Correct. and blowers. Yes. So Lee, I mm -hmm. want you to show us how to do maintenance on some of the bigger tools sure. people have been asking about. Sounds good. Okay. Let's start with the lawnmower, sharpening the blades. One of the most important things, right? Correct. All right, so I want to point out this is an electric mower. Correct. So if you had a gas mower, you wouldn't want to tip it down like this. Correct. Gotcha. And what I like to do is use a rag, just for safety. The blade could be still sharp. This is using a 5 8 wrench. I'm just going to loosen that up. Take the bolt off. Pretty much going to be the same whether we've got a gas mower or electric mower. Once we yeah. get under here, it's all going to look familiar. All the same, yeah, correct. Gotcha. So we have a flat washer and a bolt. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Get this out of your way. Okay. And then come in with a file and then just file it down. Burring it off. Just to get a nice cut on it and get a nice shine. Kind of like a kitchen knife, go Correct. the same direction. Correct. Again on both sides. Just a few passes. That should do the trick. Seems pretty simple. Put it on the way we took it off. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Snug that up. Ready to go. All right. 
Okay, so here we have the string trimmer. Tell us how we maintain this. Okay, this one here, I just like to make sure we have enough line in it for mm -hmm. the season. And this is good for, you know, weed whacking the edges of the lawn, any of the walkways, things like that. So how do you know okay. when it's time to change the okay. string? When you hit it, no more line will come through. Okay, how do you take off the bottom? Okay. On this particular one, we just pinch the inside. Okay. And so you should have three inches on either side. Correct. So there's two places to pinch on either Correct. side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it pops off. Yes. And this one, he has plenty of line inside. Right. So we'll leave that as is. But Correct. if it were down to like almost slipping off the spool, yes, it'd be time to get a new pack, put it in, Correct. and then you re-thread it. Yes. Correct. Okay. okay. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. So now what we're going to use talk about are the blowers, and with these, they have a decibel. This one here has uh, 70. Mm -hmm. This one has uh, 59. So why do I care about the decibel rating? It's a noise pollution. Uh, so you really need to check with your local town, correct? correct? Yes. Each town is different. Town and is different. it's a requirement. And they tell you, do not exceed and go above this decibel. So what worked last season might not work in a particular correct. community if they've changed it on you. Correct. Mm -hmm. Cool. OK. And just to point out, the higher decibel is usually the gas blower, Yes. right? And the battery, and the battery pack sure. is lower. Hence that's 70 and this is 59. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it gets me fired up for spring. I appreciate it. Lee, nice to meet you. Thanks for the info. Thanks, Kevin. I'll give you my address. Thanks for having me. Bring, it, bring everything. We'll be out we'll there. Bring the backpacks, all right? And bring the ones you push. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.